Good morning. Wasn't sure if that was going to go live down here on the beach, but it has. You have to excuse me for squinting. Maybe I'll put my glasses on. Oh, that's better. I can't see myself now. Though. Good morning, beauties. Or good afternoon if you're watching this. I wanted to share a really powerful mantra that has been a real game changer in my life. It's really helped me and why it could be really really powerful for you and i'm going to share how this mantra goes because people often say to me you put these mantras on but i don't know how to say them can you please do it so stay with me because i'm going to share a bit about why this is such a powerful mantra and why it could be for you and kind of what it means and then we're going to do some mantra together and i'm here at the beach so you're going to have this beautiful background of the sea isn't that just beautiful maybe we'll just Listen to that for a moment. Mm. So this mantra, Om Bu Bu Vasvaha Tat Savitu Varanyan Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyo Yo Na Prachodayat. That's quite a long mantra. It's not kind of your I am worthy short mantra. But here's one of the reasons why it's so powerful. Because when your mind is occupied with that quite big mantra welcome everyone that's just jumping on when your mind is preoccupied with a long mantra like this one I've just shared with you which is actually called the Gayatri mantra the mother of all mantras it can't be so preoccupied with other thoughts your mind can only hold so much information so when you're saying the Gayatri mantra it really is preoccupied with the Gayatri mantra and every moment that your mind is not caught up in indecision in doubt in idleness in um, negativity is a winning moment all right and you know if you've been following me for a while you know that I have had a bit of a history with negativity in the mind that's been my biggest battle in my life really it's led to chronic pain it's led to a lot of um, indecision and struggle it's led to a lot of dissatisfaction and unnecessary pain and suffering for myself and so anything that I can do to reshape the power of my mind and to realign myself with the true nature of who I am, which I have direct experience of now, almost in every moment, that I am joy, I am freedom, I am light, I am worthy, I am here and exactly where I need to be in the world. Every moment that we can align ourselves to that is important and there's one time of day for me and it might be the same for you which is why this could be so powerful for you despite the fact that it's an amazing mantra and I'll talk a bit more about the mantra is that if you are someone like me who wakes up in the morning or has a history of waking up in the morning and going into negativity straight away then this could be an amazing mantra for you so I have trained myself that as soon as my kind of eyes open or as soon as I wake up I go into this mantra because for me and I know that this is true for a lot of people it's those wee hours of the morning when you wake up and I'm not fully conscious but I'm conscious enough that my mind has clicked in that it's going astray and it is a, I'm a little unguarded around my mind I haven't really not really focused on aligning because I'm still in that kind of in-between state and that's where my mind can start ruminating and filling my you know self with with lack of worth and lack of purpose and all of these sorts of things which is not true they are just well-grooved old stories from the past not even probably this lifetime just really deep grooves so I have had to train myself as soon as I get into that state and it's been tricky because it's a semi-conscious state to jump straight in with this mantra. So I'm lying in bed doing the Gayatri Mantra. And the Gayatri Mantra is a very powerful mantra of light. You may have heard it in different songs um, that you listen to. If you listen to sort of sacred spiritual music, David Mal is someone who uses this song a lot. Um, or uses this mantra a lot in her work. And many, many, many people do. It is a song of bringing in the light. Yeah, the Gayatri actually means the mother of all mantras. It is said to invoke the power and the healing and the light that of the combination of all mantra. And it's something that is incredibly ancient and sacred. It has been and still is chanted by millions of people, I would say, every day at sunrise and sunset, which is why I thought I would sing it to you this morning. We're just after sunrise now, but 
and um, sometimes at midday when the sun is going up the sun is coming down and the sun is at its highest so we're celebrating the light within may it win out if you like over the darkness to release us from this cycle of suffering yeah and may the the blessings of the sun which is savitur in the wording may it help to release us yeah from this darkness which is not really real you know the more we align to this light without being afraid of the darkness without banning the darkness the darkness is always going to be there but when we can just be okay with it when we can see the light in everything that is when life gets easier that is when we can become that beacon that light no matter what and this is what I've had to train myself to do using mantra yes using physical practice using yoga using breath using emotional processing work to be okay with all that is so that I can feel the light see the light be the light no matter what so that's the work that I do I wanted to share this mantra with you this morning because there is so much going on in the world right now I mean there always has been we just know so much more about everything don't we right now it can be very confusing I know there's a lot of fear in the world I know there's a lot of mistrust I learned there's a lot of doubt there's a lot of comparison there's a lot of judgment and the essence of I believe this this human life is to really be the light no matter what and the light is a light of compassion is a light of love is a light of truth and that can feel different to everybody and that's okay the more we can be in this light of compassion the more understanding the more acceptance the more light there is in the world full stop so let's do a few mantra let's do a few Gayatri I'll see if I can flip this camera around so you can see the ocean you might see a few people walking past <laughs> as well if you're just jumping on I've shared a little bit about why this mantra is so important so when this is finished you might like to go back and listen to it again kind of what it means it has lots of literal meanings and lots of um, you know more, more general meanings it's a Sanskrit mantra and it is incredibly powerful and um, yeah one of my favorites a little bit a little bit harder to get your head around but that's the whole point right it's the whole point so I'm gonna stop squinting now turn this around see if you can see the water and we'll do a few together so let's just turn this on we'll do about 12 Om bu bu vasvaha tat savitu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha tat savitu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi Diyo yo na prachodaya Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam Bargo devasya di mahi Diyo yo na prachodaya Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam Bargo devasya di mahi Diyo yo na prachodaya Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha tat savetu varenyam bargo devasya di mahi Diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam Bargo devasya di mahi Diyo yo na prachodayat Om bu bu vasvaha Tat savetu varenyam Bargo devasya di mahi 
Iyo yo na prachodayat Om Shanti 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 And the beauty about mantra is that the energy that it is describing, so with Gayatri, it's bringing in the light. May the light outweigh the darkness. May the blessings of the light be on all of us. The beauty of that is that the vibration of that mantra creates that out in the world through the ripple effect of your voice and within you through your thoughts your voice the vibration and allowing yourself to steep in that so when you let yourself really receive the mantra you are receiving that vibration within you so you want to sit and just steep in that a little bit what does it feel like is there more lightness in your being do you feel more peaceful? Do you feel physically lighter? Do you feel more at peace with whatever it is? Do you feel more joyful, more positive, more able to face your day? More love towards others, more understanding. And you truly can train yourself to bring in mantra whenever that white noise of the mind comes in and it becomes what I call this sort of unconscious competence that it just comes in whenever you need it the mantra comes in instead of the voice of doubt of fear of judgment whatever your mind does that's not truly helpful (laughs) you can train your mind to jump in with mantra or train your awareness to jump in and hijack your mind with mantra which is so incredibly helpful swap this around hello it's a bit close wasn't it so if you have any questions about mantra don't hesitate to pop them below you may have your own um interpretation of what the Gatri means because there are many different descriptions feel free to pop that down because I think it's really lovely we really can't directly translate Sanskrit it doesn't really work so they're all like little essences of what it means and if you have any of your favorite Sanskrit mantras pop them below as well and if you would love to know more about mantra and all things spiritual development that are practical and doable then that is my my jam that is my niche of bringing this this ancient sacred practices into our world in a way that is doable in a way that really makes a difference because that's what we're about i believe right now it's not about hiding out in the temples or hiding out in the hills or hiding out wherever it's about bringing these practices to life to our interactions, to being in the world and still not of the world, in and of and all of that, both. (laughs) And yeah, it's time to bring this stuff into reality so that you too can be a beacon and be the light that you are born to be, that can fulfill what you are here to fulfill with less effort, more ease, less stress and in a higher way. And that's being called right now. And if that feels like, yep, yep, I'm needing some of that. (laughs) Then reach out to me because I run half day intro events to this kind of work where you can really sort of drop in and feel as if this is for you. And I run programs for women helping them to be a beacon. The sacred path of female leadership without compromising your own well-being, without compromising your family, your feminine. And really aligning to your highest life right now where you can make the biggest impact without compromising your own well-being. So reach out to me if that feels good to you and we can uh, we can have a bit of a chat. All right, my lovelies, have an amazing day. Have a fantastic week. 
I'm going to go back to sitting with the ocean. Much love to you.